All right, well, welcome back to It's Only Food. My name is Chef John Polite, and today on It's Only Food, we are going to be making compound butter for steak. Don't go away. All right, well, welcome back. Like I said today on It's Only Food, we will be making a compound butter for a steak that we're going to be making. We are doing a collaboration with Beth over at Binky's Culinary Carnival. Uh, we did one in the past where I made the side dish and she did the main dish, and then we, she melded through the magic of whatever she's got. She put the two entrees that we made onto one plate even though we're thousands of miles away, she was able to do that. It looked pretty cool. So this time I am doing the main course and she's doing the side dish and I've decided to do a steak with compound butter. I have no idea at this point what she's making for the side, but uh, if you go check out her uh, site, her, she's also a blogger, go check out her blog and or her YouTube channel to see what she's cooking up over there. I will leave all that information in the description box below. More about compound butters though. Uh, those are basically you take butter and you mix it with all kinds of different ingredients and it's used for different applications with different flavor profiles. Today, like I said, we're using it for steak, but you can also do compound butters for fish, for chicken, for vegetables such as you know corn and carrots. Uh, you can use it for such dish, dishes as pancakes or French toast. Basically anything you want to make with any kind of ingredient thrown into the butter to put on whatever kind of food you want it to do. Like I said, today we're doing steak, so what I'm using today is we have our butter, of course, with some green onions, some parsley, some Dijon mustard, a little of my steak and chopped seasoning because that goes so well on steak. And then of course we're gonna hit it with a little uh, salt right at the end to bring out all those flavors. And then I'll show you what you do after you've made it. So let's head into the kitchen and start off with this compound butter. All right, we have got our mixer all set up here. I have it with the paddle, selected the paddle. I can use a dough hook or a whip. I don't trust the whip to get it all mixed because the butter is still a little bit hard. This will help because the butter situation is not all the way soft. So I'm gonna lock this in and just start adding the ingredients. Got a pound of butter, so I'm just gonna add all of it in there. And I'm gonna let that start mixing. Get it softened up a little bit so the other ingredients will blend in better. I'm gonna add the green onion to it. I'm gonna go with about two tablespoons of the Dijon mustard. Make sure you don't put your spoon all the way in there, it'll get wrapped up in there. And I'm gonna add our parsley. Turn the power up just a little bit more, let it mix. Then the steak and chop, chef leads, second steak. Then the chef leads, insane steak and chop seasoning. About two tablespoons. You can see how well that is blending in. That's pretty good. The flavor is coming off there, I can smell it. The odor or the, or the fragrance coming off this is pretty good. Now I'm going to add a little over a teaspoon of salt because I am using unsalted butter 
but the salt will bring all the flavors together. Hit it again, get those all incorporated in there. We'll take this off the tripod so we can look and you can see, whoa, back up a little bit, <laughs> how that looks. And now I'm going to prepare this into what we use it for. All right, I've taken the, uh, I took a, a rubber spatula and I scraped everything out of the bowl and off the paddle. And I have now got the butter onto a piece of wax paper right here. I've got foil here too, but that'll come in later. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna kinda put that in there like that. Kinda like a big hoagie sandwich in the middle of the wax paper. And then I'm just gonna take and roll the butter into a big butter doobie and then I'm just gonna roll it in the foil twist the ends write what it is on here um, steak butter there we go put the date on it Then I'm gonna put that in the freezer. And then when we get done with our steak, tonight I'm cooking steaks for dinner. And we'll show you what we do with this. All right, well we got the butter out, got it unwrapped. And you're basically just gonna cut a nice slice out of the frozen butter. You see right there, it's a nice piece of, uh, slice of butter there. It's got all the herbs and spices in there that you can see. Now I'm going to just put that on the the uh, steak, let that melt a little bit. You want to do this when your steaks are hot too. Let that melt and then we'll take some pictures of it and uh, post them onto our timeline with some great music and we'll go from there. This is a collaboration show. I'm not going to eat any of the food and taste it, but I'll just tell you this really smells really, really good. And by the pictures, I'm sure you're going, yes, yes, it does, Chef John. So Beth over at Binky's Culinary Carnival is going to do the side dish for this. I'm going to leave all of her information down in the description box. She's got a blog and she has a uh, channel on YouTube. She's going to do the side dish. I'm not sure what it is. She did tell me, but I forgot. But it is going to be good, we know. Last time we did a collaboration, I did the side dish for her and I did some Daffinois potatoes and she did a nice filet. And then her son kind of brought both those dishes together into one plate and we were able to present it as one plate. So maybe she can do that again for us. So make sure you subscribe to both of our channels if you haven't already. Make sure you leave a comment on both of our channels and then hit that thumbs up button on both of our channels and make sure you share both those channels with everyone you know. Also, make sure you check out Beth's blog and her channel over there. I will leave the uh, description box will have her information in it. And then make sure you head over to www.itsonlyfood.biz to check out all the lovely seasoning, spices, and dry rubs that I have on my website for sale. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food. Bye-bye.